Okay, so we're going to be using these pallets at our shop here to demonstrate the difference between the TPO, kind of using it as the corner of a building or a home flat roof here to show you the difference. So first we're going to start off. We only consider at this point in Canada, TPO is our main competition because it's the only highly reflective roof system that's like ours. Other roof systems are not highly reflective like TPO or our tough roof. So I'm going to be showing you TPO today and the difference between ours and TPO. So first off, we'll start with TPO. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but TPO, the thickness, let me get my credit card here. This is my Visa card, okay? And just to demonstrate the thickness of TPO, look at, it's pretty much as thick as my credit card. That's an entire roof system right there, as thick as a credit card. So you're gonna try, you're gonna be trusting mother nature up here your building's down in here, Mother Nature's up here, you only have a roof system as thick as a credit card, that is single ply and that is TPO, okay? So let's show you the tough roof system. So it is right there. See the thickness difference? Let me get a little closer here, show you the cut sample and I'll show you the layers. So this is the tough roof system, approximately half an inch thick. It is custom made on your roof, so sometimes it gets a little bit thinner or even a little bit thicker than half an inch, but that's a general measurement. And if I tip it into the sun, you see this first shiny layer? That's our rubberized wax impregnated asphalt made especially for us for our tough roof system. It's impregnated with rubber to make it stretch. Mainly in the winter time, you're going to worry about the stretch because it gets very cold and things get brittle. Everything gets more brittle in the winter time. So you're going to want, we want that have that really long elongation for the roof to move because it's constantly moving. When it gets cold in the winter time and it moves, you don't want it to crack. So there's where the rubber comes in. The wax is impregnated into the asphalt to almost like a sunscreen for each molecule of, of asphalt so the sun cannot get to the asphalt it it slows down the aging of asphalt 150 percent if you put wax into the asphalt so that's what we do that's the first layer that's rubberized asphalt then we have the polyester reinforcement in there and then we have the second layer of asphalt that are polyester reinforcement and remember our polyester reinforcement is 10 times thicker each layer than the reinforcement in traditional hot asphalt roofs. All right, so after that polyester we have another layer of thick rubberized asphalt and then two layers of Durox Teal Coat which makes it highly reflective. Now if you look into the camera you can notice that our coating right there is about the same thickness as the entire roof system of our competition. And this is the only part that wears out on a tougher. See how thick this is? When you purchase these initially, these layers, you never purchase them again. The only thing you do is you purchase the white coating, which is one quarter, roughly one quarter the price of the actual initial waterproofing layers of the tough roof system. So this is all. This is the only thing that wears out. This part, warranted forever, as long as this part gets changed as needed. Approximately 15 years, you're going to want to do the white coating. Okay, so you see the thickness difference. Now, I'm going to make this video short because I'm going to ask you a question. And I'm going to teach you about Mother Nature. Mother Nature's job is to pound roofs into oblivion. And one side note, when we design roofs, or when do, roofs are designed, this roof was designed by people in lab coats in a lab that have really never seen Mother Nature pound roofs. This was made by roofers with tar on their boots every day, 20 hours a day it seems like we work, stopping roof leaks all over the country. So this was designed by roofers. This was designed by lab technicians. Roofers are the ones that know how to make a roof. See the thickness difference? That's why roofers made this and lab technicians made this. Now, Mother Nature, her job is to pound at our roofs. As soon as they're installed, the minute they're installed, every millisecond of every day, Mother Nature drives sun rays. Rain, ice, snow, high winds, whatever she's doing, she's trying to, her job is to destroy what we put on, okay? So our battle is against Mother Nature. So if you were Mother Nature, who would you pick a fight with? So would you pick a fight with TPO? Very thin, you probably actually win that fight really quickly, and she does on uh, on a day-to-day -day uh, basis, she wins the fight with TPO very, very easily because we replace a lot of TPO. 
Tough roof, never needs replacement, thick as a hockey puck, and white, the same as TPO, just as white, highly reflective. Now, if you're Mother Nature and you're trying to pick a fight, and remember, this is a single ply, but it's also seamed. So when you get to a, a roll, the rolls come together with seams. Tough roof, once it's flood coated with that rubberized asphalt, it erases all the seams across the roof surface. And this is as thick as a hockey puck, but it's also seamless across your entire flat roof system. So I ask you this, if you're Mother Nature, who are you gonna pick a fight with? Do I have to say any more?